hey, okay, I'm going to share with you how to do a auto password creation on your PDF files using Power PDF. Okay, so uh, to begin, uh, you can actually set up your watch folder. You will only need to do, it, do this once, and after which, uh, you know, in future, you'll be do an auto population in terms of the password creation. So um, it's a bit of automation, and it's just that you can not only password protection, you can actually set other uh, steps to the PDF file along the way as well. So to begin, you just go to your uh, Power PDF, go, go to Advanced Processing, click on Watch Folder, and from here, you will set up uh, where's your input folder and your output folder on your desktop, right? So uh, once you selected the, the areas that you want to input and output, so in general, anything that's input here, be it a uh, Word file, uh, you know, HTML, JPEG or whatever, uh, anything that's put in here will be output as a PDF file. So if you select this as a PDF file, it'll be output into a PDF file. And once you set up, then you can just leave it. And you notice that there's a little column here, workflow, right? That's where we're going to set up how you're going to create a password for each PDF file that it exported, okay? So once you click OK here, and I'll just go back to here, sequencer, right? So I just need to create, create a new sequence. Okay, let me just repeat again. Uh, sequencer, I click on new sequence, right? I'll probably name the sequence uh, password, right? So once I name it, you can just go ahead to select the sequence that you want to put in, right? And you click select command. And from here, you can click on this um, encrypt feature, right? So besides encrypting, there's a lot of other features in between. You can also add watermark, flatten, print, or, or whatnot. But for this demo, I'll just do an encryption, right? So from here, when you edit the encrypt step, you just select password protection. Uh, and you can set a permission to the document. And from here, the printing will be uh, none and change will be none. Uh, at the same time, I'll put a password here. When I click OK, I'll click on the same password again, close, and you're kind of done for your first step, right? So when I get out of this sequencer, I'll go back to the watch folder we have, which I set up earlier. You notice that uh, now you can check this box and can select the workflow called password, right? So when I'm okay, or rather just going back to here, remember to click enable, right? And when you click uh, and put the settings that it is, and once you click okay, you are, you are good to go, right? So going to the desktop, uh, all I need to do is just uh, maybe open up a word file, right? A random word file, or you can have a whole batch of word file, just uh, do any typing or what, whatever. Once you're happy, you just go ahead to uh, save it onto the folder which I just set up, which is the input folder, right? I'll probably name it testing. No, I'll probably name it password. Right? Once I click OK, you're done. I mean, uh, from here, your desktop will do the auto uh, conversion. And all you need to do is just go back to the folder, output folder. You'll realize that the the PDF is now created as a password protected PDF. So I've just created a word file. I save it into an input folder. It gets exported into output as a PDF file. And at the same time, it's password protected. So to prove it, you can just convert to word is protected, right? So that's how you do a, a, you know, a workflow, automatic workflow on your desktop uh, using Power PDF, right?